now again for a lot of these things we can do these ab test for a lot of these things we cannot do an ab test because it's not always clean to divide users into segments and again if you're amazon right i cannot i cannot stop one product from being shown to you so if i'm trying out a new difference across my some of my sellers then it's not very easy to ab test so now what we are doing is we're starting to have this counterfactual prediction i mean i think this is where a lot of work has been happening in the healthcare domain like causal inference in healthcare they think that if i give you this treatment right now then what would have been your outlook for the disease progression and if i don't give it then this is what would have happened or if i give you drug 2 then this is what happens so i cannot give you both the drugs as a user right i can only maybe randomize some users get get this some users get that and then i can estimate from that so there is a lot of like this counterfactual estimation as a problem so there's a lot of like stats and time series modeling involved there which says that hey this is a trend which would have happened over a period of time and now i can say that because of my intervention intervention is you making that change because of my intervention now this is the other time series and you can look at the delta you now there's a lot of seasonal effects like maybe like it's just independence day is coming up and people are buying more of these anyway so how do you account for that and no, don't take credit for that right i mean maybe like people already start purchasing 20% more and your model gives you plus 25% so you shouldn't take credit for that plus 25% instead take it for plus 5% or maybe there's a general trend i mean recession coming in people are spending less so you start seeing a dip anyway right so how do you account for these things so if you look at like there are a lot of library like profit from facebook a machine learning group is a library which does this time series forecasting and a lot of work has gone into how do you account for some seasonal effect how do you account for some general variations in these time series and then can you attribute the delta back to your change so my broad answer is like a lot of ab testing counterfactual estimation is another tool and then looking at time series predictions is like a third option which people usually have to make these estimates and like ab testing is a way way big topic i think like i mean that deserves a discussion of its own because like developing the right metrics are you even measuring the right conversions are you measuring the right metrics uh with the right rigor and when you look at the difference between a versus b right 50 users got a 50 users got b then are you just looking at the mean like that oh the average conversion here was 0.45 average conversion here is 0.52 is it just 0.05 difference do you have confidence intervals on each of these right maybe the means are overlapping but the confidence intervals are like almost the same so then it's not a, a statistically significant difference so this is where a lot of like stats trigger uh starts coming in that you do these two tailed test that this number is statistically significant that other number and then make some conclusions so there's no area of measurement sciences around this which is going heavy on stats on metrics on experimentation